Now when you go to the hadith, if you find a room in the hadith which is in conflict with the room in the Quran, what do you do? That uh, we make an alliance with room and we are victorious and then one from room stands up and says, the cross is victorious. And then a Muslim comes up and says, no, Allah is victorious and kills him. I wish I could meet that Muslim, eh? What a shameful thing he's done. To kill a man, but uh, where did he come from? Bollywood or Bangladesh or Pakistan or Indonesia, Indonesia, where he came from? Then he should say, Allah is victorious, you're going to kill the man. Maybe he came from the United States of America. And then when he kills the Christian, the two armies then lock to each other in big battle fighting. Is that a people who are closest in love and affection for you? Will they behave like that? No. The room in this hadith is in conflict with the room in the Quran. When you find a conflict between the Hadith and the Quran, then either this Hadith is fabricated or part of the Hadith is fabricated because it's in conflict with the Quran. Or the other possibility is that when the Quran speaks of Rome, it's speaking of one room. And when the Hadith speaks here today of Rome, it's speaking about another room. Can that be possible? After the revelation of the Quran, Rome split into two. <laughs> One part of Rome remained in Constantinople, and today they are Orthodox Christianity. But another part of Rome went to Italy, to the city of Rome and constituted subsequently Western Christianity. So this is the possibility that the Hadith is speaking about this room and the Quran is speaking about that room. In which case there will be no conflict between the Hadith and the Quran. That some Muslims made a foolish mistake of making alliance with that room. And in the end, look at the, at the mess with which they ended up. That's an explanation of this apparent conflict between the Quran and the Hadith. <laughs>